Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Trump series of videos, day 22. You know, these all aren't about just Donald Trump and the political election. Over the next 380 something days, I'm gonna be making a video a day. And a lot of it's gonna to be to open up and expose the corruption behind the animal industry here in America. All right, so Donald, I saw you on the Today Show while you're up in New Hampshire. You're needing some of the women people of America to support you. I'll tell you a little secret how to make that happen. Get behind their animals. Nothing more than a woman loves other than her animals. So, I noticed on Facebook this morning that Big Cat Rescue is being hailed as miracle workers because this tiger that they took in the other day from Michael Stapleton out of Ohio could barely walk because it came out of that roller cage when it got to Tampa, Florida. The unfortunate part is, is it was probably tranquilized and still had to sleep when it fell out of that roller cage. And then today, he's up walking around. Why? Probably because the medication wore off. And they're being held as miracle workers in order to raise that $100,000 that they need to take care of that old tiger. You know, the funny thing is, is on Facebook and underneath some of the comments on Big Cat Rescue's wall of where they have a video of this so-called tiger walking around after the miracle change of pain meds and everything else done by their number one veterinarians is, you know, when people start asking legitimate questions about why is this taking $100,000 to feed one old tiger that's not gonna be around for the next five years? She always puts the blame back in my lap. So it's not the subject of why does Joe breed tigers? The question at hand, Carol, is why the hell do you need $100,000 to help take care of one tiger. But you know, my question is, is why are you even soliciting money when you got that much money to throw in the Humane Society's pocket all the time of being a diamond sponsor every year, renting a table for $25,000 here, giving $16,000 here for a political fund? It seems like all you're doing is donating these people's donated money. And you wanna turn around and blame it on Joe Shrivel for carting cubs around malls. Got a wake up call for you. I have not been to a mall or took my cubs off property other than the Iowa Fair since 2011. So let's find another excuse to put the cloud off on you and put it on me because you know what? I don't take cubs to malls anymore. That was years ago, I quit on my own and you can't take any credit for that. Just got tired of it and I don't even need it anymore. So let's get back to the $100,000 at hand. Uh, how come you're scamming the public for 100,000 bucks? to take care of this tiger. And then to turn around and just give it away to pad politicians' pockets to get your way. You know, one of the biggest questions that I have, along with a lot of people in America is, is why in the hell aren't you introducing laws like you did in Ohio in the state of Florida? Is it because they'll shoot your ass? Or is it because it would ruin you as well? You want out of this industry so goddamn bad that you put on their end in the trade, why don't you just get out? let the rest of us move on with our lives because we don't care what you do, but as long as you're fucking with us, I'm gonna keep fucking with you. I got all the time in the world. Donald Trump, once again, buddy, get behind the women and their pets and you'll take over America. Trust me on this one, especially them monkey ladies. They'll love any man that loves them and their monkeys. I'm Joe Exotic and I have six questions to ask you politicians, and I don't care which one's gonna give me the time of day to sit down for 30 minutes and discuss these six issues. I've asked them for 21 days. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Here they are. Here in America, we have a war in the animal world and the animal rights people in order to take our rights away. And 62.8 million people here in America own pets, and we'd like to know your comments and your concerns about a few issues. Question number one, how do you feel about 501c3 organizations here in America that are scamming the public for hundreds of millions of dollars to take care of animals and none of it goes to the animals? 90% of it goes to lobbyists to pass laws to further their agenda. Two, it seems like terrorist is the number one topic anytime you turn the news on anymore. Are you aware that our own government, the United States Department of Agriculture, declared PETA a number one domestic terrorist in the United States? on November the 30th, 2009, and they're still a nonprofit tax organization here in America? How can you be a terrorist and get a tax break from your own country right here in America? Three, we'd like to know your opinion on how you feel on online bullying 
not only of children, but adults, in the name of free speech, in order to bash somebody and ruin their reputation and their good name, only to make money for yourself and get away with it under the Declaration of Free Speech. Four, we'd like to know how come us Americans that own our own property, own our own houses, and pay taxes on them do not have the right to have our own pets that we choose to have on our property or in our homes? Number five, do you not think that we Americans have the right to assume the risk of our profession no different than a cop, a firefighter, an oil rig worker, or anyone else that has the assumption of the risk of their professions? It is our right, and please, if you become president, give us back our right. And number six, one of the most important, and this kind of touched on your speech at the Oklahoma State Fair about things being made in other countries and taxing them when they come into America. Do you not believe that it should be a right that any product made from the rainforest or an animal's habitat somewhere in, a, in the world should be taxed in order to be sold in America and that tax money go back to helping rebuild the habitat and the rainforest so some of these animals don't become extinct in the futures to come? All right, so all this opens up a few questions. One is, why is so much fraudulent money being raised to take care of animals and the money's not going to the animals, it's going to political funds? Next thing is, is why in the hell are these laws being passed in every state except the state that they want to live in? I'm Joe Exotic and I'll see you tomorrow for Video Message 23.